In today's high five segment, some Fort Smith High School students are teaming up to build a wheelchair ramp for a local war veteran. Five News reporter Laura Simon has the story. Northside High School construction students are working on this wheelchair ramp for local veteran William Piles. That wheelchair in there, me taking it up and down those steps, and they're the old steps, which are that deep, and that thing is not light. So them building it's a blessing in the sky. I just want to teach the kids that it feels good to do something for your community. We're not getting paid for this, but you know, in, here in the cold weather, it kind of warms your heart to do something nice for someone. Pyle served in the U.S. Army in the Vietnam War. He says his mobility became limited about 12 years ago. The Veterans Affairs Outpatient Clinic is 200 yards from his home, but walking there is no longer an easy task. With this being built in, I'll be able to, instead of having to take 20 to 25 minutes to walk over there, I can just go down the ramp and scoot on over there. <laughs> The advanced carpentry class is made up of 11 students, mostly juniors and seniors. They began construction last Monday. The most rewarding part of it is to know that we're helping a guy who's helped us have our freedom and give him the freedom of being able to access outside and be able to maneuver from inside his house to outside and be able to get to where he needs to go. When you put the time in to teach them the skills that they can actually come out here and, and, and use those to, to, to do better for the community. Like I say, it's a blessing in disguise. Fletcher says the project will be complete by Monday. In Fort Smith, Laura Simon, 5 News. Laura, thank you. The class found out about piles through the Disabled Veterans Association. They wanted to have that project done by Veterans Day, but they had a few delays because of rainy weather.